Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Richard Moglin, and welcome back to the weekly watches video sponsored by Margaret Smith. Um, overall, we're going to talk through my watch list for this upcoming trading week, uh, talk about the fundamentals, technicals, and the actual setup that I'm looking to trade for each of these names. Um, as always, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section right now. Uh, what's your favorite setup down here? And if there's a name that I'm not watching um, that you think I should be, let me know down below as well. And if you could, please go ahead and take the time to leave me a like down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel and want to see more videos just like this one every single week. Uh, dive right in, let's go ahead and start with AMR here. And just a quick note before we get started on the oil and gas names, materials, uh, miners, um, it does seem like there's a lot of people on social media who've got them on their watch list, uh, but just because a lot of people are watching them on social media doesn't mean they can't work. Uh, just be aware of that and there could be some shakeouts in here. Um, and with that said, let's go ahead and dive right in with AMR. So uh, this has been a super strong stock. I think I first had it on a watch list back in this area in the short term flag. Um, it's advanced basically 100% from that point, and now is setting up a potential high tight flag here, a little bit of shakiness near this 137 pivot. Uh, so I'd love actually maybe a shakeout with a hammer candle, setting it up for another uh, day, but uh, we'll just have to see whether this can break out sometime soon. I like how it's getting supported at that 21 EMA. Um, and on any kind of weakness, any tightness, I'd love to see kind of a dry up in volume. That would be incredibly constructive. Um, looking at the fundamentals, great earnings and sales, most recent two quarters. Um, estimates are super strong for 2022, not so much in 2023, but the estimates are up and you've got an increase in fund ownership over the past few quarters. Uh, moving on, we've got ANET and I'd like to see this handle kind of build out a little bit more. Um, ideally, we get a little bit of a shakeout here, then a potential breakout through this pivot. Uh, but overall, pretty solid growth numbers the past four quarters. Um, estimates are solid, not explosive, but pretty good. And this is in a leading group here and we've got a steady increase in fund ownership and two high quality funds in here as well. Looking at the chart, this is forming a stage four cup with a standard pivot of 148.57. But like I said, I love to buy a DTL break or an early entry uh, right within this hand handle that's forming. And that high is 142.15. Uh, so that is Arista Networks. Uh, moving on, we've got Arch Resources, another um, energy coal name, which is a leading group as of this moment. Uh, great earnings sales margins, the most recent three quarters. Really strong estimates for 2022 and like AMR, not so much for the next year um, and fund ownership is pretty much flat in this name. Um, overall, this has progressed really nicely from this stage streak up with handle and now is forming another kind of flag here, a uh, base consolidation. You've got a DTL right here and I'm watching this kind of weekly pivot here. If we go over to a weekly chart, this is a potential two to reversal on the weekly uh, breaking out through last week's high around that 141 level. So that is Arch and that's why I'm watching for this name. Moving on, we've got CVX, Chevron, and over I'm watching this pivot through these highs and I like the decline in volume here after a super strong run from the stage one uh, cup. So overall really strong earning sales margins, the most recent three quarters, great estimates for this year, not so much for the next year, um, and pretty much flat fund ownership over the past two years and no high quality funds, but this has been a super strong stock as you can see from its RS rating of 97. Moving on, we've got EIGR, which is a biotech pharmaceutical company. So keep that in mind. Some people um, don't like to trade these at all. There is at a risk that you could just open up 50% down if they miss trials. So keep that in mind. Uh, but the chart has been extremely strong going from four to 10 in just a few days and now pulling back and potentially forming a base above that eight level. So I ideally like to see uh, just a base form in this area um, and have a pivot through 10. But on that 60 minute chart, you've got a potential level right here. Um, ending last week and you can see how strong this has been after um, a super strong push off the bottom from four. So that is EIGR. Um, it's got no earnings or sales just yet. Um, it's not supposed to be profitable um, and fund ownership is pretty much flat, but this is basically a play on the super powerful chart. So that is EIGR, definitely a more speculative name on this list. Uh, moving on, we've got EXTN, also super powerful off the bottom here from the stage one cup. It's holding that 21 EMA and I like to look for a break of this DTL here against that 21 EMA. I like the confluence of those setups and overall not much to speak of in terms of earnings and sales, um, but this is in a lean group as of this moment. And you can see fund ownership has actually declined over the past two years. Uh, next up, we've got GTLB, which is an off the bottom play based on the huge volume we're seeing to the upside. And um, overall, I like how it's compressing between the 50 SMA, 21 EMA, holding that level, forming out a base. You've got a pivot at last week's high. Um, as well as basically Friday's high, the 50 SMA, and of course at um, basically this level 65.27. So I wanna see a breakout through those points and basically to see it start to progress up the right-hand side of this longer-term base. 
Uh, really strong sales growth the past four quarters. Not supposed to be profitable this year or the next, but you've got 209 funds and one high quality fund in there as well. Um, and like I said, there's an off the bottom play, not for everybody, uh, but uh, definitely worth considering if you like this type of setup. Uh, moving on, we've got Lockheed Martin and overall the defense names we're kind of setting up here. You've got a flag forming here and I'm watching these pivots um, through basically Friday's high here against that 21 EMA. And overall, not much growth um, in terms of earning sales margins or estimates, um, but you've got a decent fund ownership, although not an increasing trend in that fund ownership as it comes out of this longer term stage one base. Uh, moving on, we've got Lululemon, which is another powerful mover off the bottom here. Um, it's up against the 200 SMA, so keep that in mind, but you're seeing very high volume here. And I believe this is the highest volume in quite a while, 8 million shares traded higher than this level. So the highest volume in over um, 12 months in a year. So that basically indicates that something new has changed with institutions and they've started accumulating the stock, but we'll have to see how this progresses. Uh, so overall, looking at the earning sales margin, you can see decent growth the past four quarters, uh, great estimates for this year and the next, nice and steady, and an increasing trend of fund ownership and a whole bunch of high quality funds in there as well. Uh, looking at the 60 minute chart, uh, this is setting up nicely, potentially forming a U after this gap up on volume. So I'm watching for a break of this horizontal level, which is pretty much just below 370. And going back to a daily, um, I ideally like to see it break through that 200 SMA base and start to move up the right hand side of this base. But definitely some work to do. Um, and overall, I would like to see uh, basically a nice trend come out of this move up instead of just breaking this low that would kind of break my expectations. So that is Lululemon. And moving on, we've got Oxy, another oil and gas name. Uh, forming out another flag here against the 21 EMA. Great earnings sales margins, the most recent three quarters. Great estimates for this year, not so much for 2023. Um, and you've got pretty much flat fund ownership. Uh, so that is Oxy, another play on the chart and overall theme. And this has been a very strong mover since this kind of stage one base area. Moving on, we've got RES, which is another name within the oil and gas field. Uh, great earnings and sales, the most recent two quarters, supposed to be profitable in 2023. Um, and overall really strong chart going from six to 12 in just a few weeks and now setting up a potential high tight flag. So overall, I'm watching this pivot right here through Thursday's high. I want to see a breakout on volume, ideally breaking out into all time high. So that is RES. Uh, moving on, we've got Tesla. I'm sure everybody knows the stock. I'm watching for a break of this DTL, the short term flag or a constructive pullback uh, to that 1000 area or this prior pivot right here. So that is Tesla, great earning sales margins. We all know the story, great estimates as well, and a whole bunch of high quality funds in there as well as it forms out the stage one base. Lastly, we've got Wolf. And once again, there's kind of an off the bottom play, more of a swing trade setup here. We've got a nice upside reversal on Friday. So I'm watching for fall through through that high here. And it had really nice volume off the bottom here as it forms out a base below 10. And going over to a 60 minute chart, you can see basically compression. And I'm watching for a break of this DTL and basically a move up through that 10 level. So overall, that's pretty much it for this week's watch list. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. And once again, if you think there's a name I forgot, let me know down below as well. I'll leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys in future videos. Thanks.